Rio Dulce. On the 850 kilometers from the river's head to the Atlantic Ocean, the river is of high importance for over half a million people in the southeast of Brazil. In the state of Minas Gerais, the main economic activities are agriculture, tourism, but most importantly mining, especially in the municipality of Mariana, in which the world's second biggest iron ore mine is located. 85% of its income depend on iron ore extraction. On November the 5th, two dams with mining residues broke and released enormous amounts of mud into the river. Villages were utterly destroyed and the ecological damage even reached the coast. The life of the people that live along the river changed since for several months the river's water could not be used. This was the starting point for the voluntary social initiative Unyao con Rio Dulce. With the help of local contacts, the international team of researchers and students was able to get in touch with the mayors of affected cities to talk about alternative, sustainable solutions for water captivation. The first objective would be to build a fully operating water capturing system, which would serve as a prototype for more projects to come. This pilot project was chosen to be implemented in the city of Cachoeira School. On January 17th, the volunteers arrive and begin to consult the affected villages to reassure their presumptions on what is needed. Nosso ponto de escolha foi de ficar na nossa proposta comunitária, além que a gente queria começar dos beneficiários, mas para nós os beneficiários eram pessoas de baixa renda, pessoas muito afetadas. E a gente fez um tour das, das ruas juntos para ver um pouquinho quem vai beneficiar do projeto. Olha, quando eu vejo isso... When I see this man carrying 30, 40 liters of water, I know that the project is for this. Here is water. Shortly after explaining the project to the community, the construction could begin, as Rafael, the technical expert of the system, had already picked up the needed materials from various sources. While the construction is getting started, Professor Mauricio visits the local water treatment facility and conducts an analysis. His professional evaluation can be used to implement better methods. He meets the mayor of the city and explains his ideas. We could perfectly make the experience of abstracting water from the ground next to the river in the combination with a new storage. The water would even be partially filtered, so it's a possibility. Back at the construction site, progresses are being made slowly. After the concrete fundament has been laid, a wooden formwork is built, surrounded by a steel grid. From the inside, the construction needs to be stabilised with various means. All this took longer than expected, not only because of heavy rains and missing material, but also because only two community members continuously work on it. On Sunday afternoon, a tough decision has to be made. Leave the project unfinished, or stay four more days and deliver the finished system. The team decides to stay longer, and suddenly the bondage between them and the locals becomes much stronger. The work continues more efficiently, and everyone feels relieved when on Sunday the outer shell is completed. The last day has come and everyone is motivated to work hard in order to finish the project. The roof is finished before noon, so now the team can work on the water capturing and filtration system. In the afternoon everything is ready, and the whole community gathers to inaugurate the new reservoir. Time will show which direct benefits the local community can derive from the sustainable water supply. But more importantly, the voluntary work of the group showed everyone that together it is possible to create values. When everyone feels a bit more responsible and cares for his or her community and the environment, it is possible to increase autonomy of communities. Public participation in democratic decision making and prevent social exclusion. This project was not about constructing the water reservoir. It was about social responsibility. 
about collective goals, empowerment for low-income communities that are often disconsidered in situations of crisis and creating hope.